What's happening guys, it's Sabina from PhoneBitch and in this video we are going to tell you how software optimization can do wonders for performance of a device. In this case, it's the Galaxy J2 2016. Now in this video we are not just going to talk about software optimization but some of the neat features of the Galaxy J2. Starting with Smart Glow. So using this feature, you can personalize your alerts, you have some usage alerts available as well and it has a selfie assist all of which i'm going to talk about so you can choose either four contacts or four apps that you want to show custom notifications for and you can completely customize the color of the notification leds at the back you can just see there you can choose four different colors for four apps or four contacts or a mix of both you can even go ahead and edit the color that you have previously stated and the ring around the icon of the app or contact will actually show you the color it is going to glow with. Then you can have custom alerts for battery as well. Only a part of that LED at the back would light up and then you have usage alerts for data as well as storage. So that's really the best thing. You can tell what is happening on your phone, who is calling you, which app is sending notifications without having to look at the display. Then there's selfie assist, which tells you which way to position your smartphone so that you can take a selfie from the back camera with autofocus. You can just see it's telling me that I should move the phone up and then it takes a selfie. You can see right there. It actually works very well. It does take a little bit of time, but it gets the job done. And then you can select the number of alerts that arrive and you can also have it glow when the phone is charging so they can just check whether it has charged completely or not. Very neat stuff here. Now let's talk about performance now. What has Samsung done here? Now the company says that they have reduced the size of the native applications so that they load up quickly and consume less memory. Then there's proactive memory management as well. And you see the effect right here. The dialer opened up quicker than the Samsung J3 which uses the same hardware. You can see the gallery opened up quicker as well as did the camera with its entire interface. You can see files opened up quicker as well. So this is what we are seeing. All the native apps actually work faster on the Samsung Galaxy J2, although both phones have same hardware. Yes, you have Android Marshmallow on the Galaxy J2 as well. So combined with Turbo Speed technology, this phone actually performs a lot better. Now let's continue with our test. Even from the lock screen, the J2 just unlocks faster. And if we just clear all apps, you can see. Overall, the J2 just feels a bit more snappier. Now in some places, yes, the J3 is a bit faster like opening the app drawer and you can see that, but it's more animation than anything else. And if you talk about web browsing as well, I found that the J2 has a slight edge. Now there is proactive memory management with the Galaxy J2. What that means is when you try to open new apps, they would open up quicker. But yes, memory management is slightly more aggressive on the Galaxy J2, which again would result in your apps opening up faster, but older apps will be killed easier. So here's my final take. TST or Turbo Speed technology did actually make a bit of a difference. You saw launch speeds were better on the Galaxy J2 than the J3 even with the same hardware. Now Smart Glow is interesting. It's like a notification LED on steroids. Now this would be quite useful for the hearing impaired. Samsung phones already allow the LED flash to be used as an accessibility feature to notify of calls and messages. This would be an even greater advantage for them because it is customizable. Now customization is really the key. Once Samsung opens this to third party developers or even they themselves, there is a lot more they can do with those four RGB LEDs. Anyways folks, that was my take on the new features of the Galaxy J2. If you have any suggestions, do mention those in the comment section. Thanks for watching and as always, have a great day.